Welcome to the 2024 Economic and Preparation in the Present Channel. I'm Mel Tony. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. Today, we're briefly going to be talking about the numbers here, the midweek numbers. As you know, um, the Dow Jones is up and down, uh, S&P 500, as well as the Russell 2000. But the home sales is what's really concerning here, ladies and gentlemen. Home sales fell, according to MarketWatch.com, in June as the number of completed units hit its highest level in 15 years. So U.S. builders are struggling to boost sales amid high interest rates and elevated home prices. Home prices are still elevated, and they're elevated by as much as 40%. This is across the board, not just in major metropolitan areas. Um, even in the Midwest and the South, where traditionally you would find cheaper homes, the prices are elevated. Now, people are still purchasing homes. That's the good news. And people are still purchasing real estate, flipping real estate, Airbnbs, and all of that. But... It's going to reach a point with the, a point of diminishing returns for the builders here as they got cheap labor here, as you know. Um, they get a lot of cheap labor uh, either brought in, imported in um, to do these homes and houses that they're finished here in a lot of these divisions. Remember, these subdivisions and, and home and housing apartments are planned out, you know, five, ten years in advance. So we're just now starting to catch up to where um, they're all, all of the building is being stopped. So this continues to be an issue here. Uh, will it continue? What, what's going to give? Is it the interest rates are going to give or is it going to be the home prices? My suspicion is that it's going to be the home prices, that sales will still happen. It's just that sales are going to have to drop their prices by as much as 25 to 30 percent to get those sales that they needed to get rid of, unload some of this inventory that's out there. So job seekers, too, as well. This is CNBC.com. Job seekers are sour on the cooling labor market. You know, they said the labor market was so hot, you know, before the media was touting that the labor market was producing over 200,000 jobs a month. You guys remember that back in March and April, they were saying everything was hot. And it was, you know, for a time being. But now job seekers are starting to feel like less confidence about the ability to land a new gig. And this is because it's taking longer to find a new um, job. If you're looking for a decent paying job, you know, paying over $25 an hour, $30 an hour, um, it's very hard out there. Um, it's taking longer to find a job in all areas of the, um, of the economy, from healthcare to, to government, to transportation, to utilities, to um, hospitality, to manufacturing. It's going harder. It's taking a longer time, at least in America. Um, to find a new job, one that can replace the one that you are transferring from or, you know, are lost or whatever the case may be. So the labor market, the data suggests that the labor market remains strong, but further cooling may be troublesome, says economists. And we said that this was going to happen, that we predict this is going to happen as we head into the third and fourth quarter of this year and especially next year. And next year is going to be really rough on a lot of people, um, you know, as they continue to work. Either Those who do have jobs are going to be figuring out that inflation, inflation and the other prices, the taxes and other prices in most states are going to outweigh their raises, uh, raises, raises or any increases. And we haven't had a real wage increase since 1996. And so this is going to be very big trouble here for a lot of people. And so now we have a situation where we have a slowing economy. We have stagflation going into hyperinflation. And that's why I tell everybody on this channel to continue to prepare, you know, continue to you know, put away cash for a rainy day. Get, you know, just focus on the essentials, food, water, medicine, securities, um, prayer, you know, spiritual, mental, physical health as well. And you will be a lot better off than, you know, 70 percent of the people who are just hoping that the stock market and the their investments hold on until, you know, they get to retirement. It may not always be the case. The good news is, like I said, the unemployment rate. It's going up, but it's not going up exponentially. Okay, right now it was at 4.1% 4. 4. according to the official numbers um, in June 2024. And so we anticipate to tick up to around 4.5% by the end of this month. So that's not bad compared to what it could be. Um, you know, in real time. So that's 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 the good news is that it's not it hadn't it's ticked up, but it hasn't been a dramatic tick, tick up yet enough to raise concern to, for the Federal Reserve to come in and start dropping the rates right now. So we're still on track for that rate cut in September. Mortgage rates remained unchanged for the 15 and 30 year terms. So here we go again. Mortgage rates are just hanging on by a thread here. I'm um, at 6.6%, which is not bad. We know in the 80s it was up to, what, Paul Volcker was up to like 11, 12, 15% was not uncommon. So 6% is not actually too bad right now. It was up to 8%. So it's starting to get some stabilization there. The Dow Jones futures are up 83 points as we speak right now. So, you know, it's going to be up and down until they get the, um, to the markets have already priced in that rate cut coming up in September. So it's important to keep a track of that, uh, of those mortgage rates too. Now, this was interesting too here. And NBC News had an article about the... Venezuelans turn into odd jobs, gambling to stretch wages as they hope for change after the election. As you know, Venezuela's economy collapsed, and they went to trading cryptos at first, and then they went to sort of a black market hybrid with cryptos and just, you know, tangible goods like barter goods or stuff that we talk about here, and others have talked about on YouTube on their channels as well. 
And this is what could we face that here? We're, we're starting to turn. A lot of Americans are turning to odd jobs, the second and third jobs. You know, not just with the gig economy, but they're turning to other ways with, between communities to, to to you know make money. You know, some people came. To, a lot of people have seen the communities. People coming to your door selling things, uh, whether it be pest control or you know taking out the trash for you or cutting the grass. All these are you know side gigs are going to be increasing. You're going to see an increase of that too this year and next year as this economy really starts getting bad. You're going to see young kids, um, not even finish high school, start turning to odd jobs to make ends meet um, not just the traditional odd jobs or blue collar jobs that we think about but this is what's going to happen what do you think about that in America um, because we're going to see this on a bigger scale here not just in what happened down in Venezuela or Turkey when that economy collapsed or even Greece this is what we're going to see here in America um, you know, street sellers arranging their merchandise in Caracas, Venezuela we're going to see more of this type of thing here this a la carte service is being offered to people bring back again even though you can sell online and do things like that with the people have done Etsy and you know all kinds of things online but there's nothing like the street presence and so we're going to see a lot of that on the streets um, of these big cities in America like Chicago and New York and LA we're going to see more a la carte street selling um, of goods and services our jobs you know where cash is being paid where people can be outside the system as we continue to get digitized money so that's something to look forward to let me know what you think about that as we head into the future of this economy um, and be blessed continue to be blessed um, uh, we're too blessed to be stressed ladies and gentlemen let's continue to work hard every day um, and whatever we do whether individual employment or corporate employment or, or, or you know self-employed um, let's continue to work hard and do what we need to do to take care of our families and our communities. And uh, we'll be blessed for that as a result. So tomorrow is the jobs report numbers. I'm interested to see if the number is still above 200,000 jobs that we're adding. And also that comes out at 8.30 Eastern time, I believe. And then also we're going to be looking at the uh, inflation report coming out soon toward the end of this week and next week. We'll be looking at that as well to see if it's still upticking or it's kind of stabilized now. So thank you for listening. Uh, take care. I'll talk to you in the next video.